In this video we will provide an overview of the current most widely used multifocal IOLs, including three established trifocal lenses and three of the most recent extended depth of focus lenses. Starting off with the Fine Vision Pod FT, one of the first trifocal models, this type of lenses provide three focal points for distance, intermediate and near vision. Crucial to success with these type of lenses, is a very centered and round capsula rexus. I like to use a systitum to begin the flap as this allows me to control the radial opening of the capsule, aiming for an overall diameter of about 5.5 mm. Once the rexus is complete, phaco emulsification technique proceeds as standard. For softer lenses the tilt and tumble is a very safe technique. For dense cataracts chopping techniques are favored. Cortical material is thoroughly aspirated before proceeding with the IOL implant. The Fazeol Fine Vision family of lenses are normally implanted using the Accuject injector which is compatible with corneal incisions down to 2.2 mm. This is a plunger type injector and it allows the IOL to be carefully delivered into the capsular bag. The lens immediately unfolds and the surgeon may simultaneously proceed with irrigation and aspiration of viscoelastic while adjusting the positioning of the lens in the capsular bag. This fine vision is the Pod FT model which provides toric correction. This is a very stable lens with a total of 4 haptics in a double seal loop configuration. It is very easy to rotate in either direction so it is very surgeon friendly in cases of toric corrections. Being a trifocal design some loss of contrast sensitivity is to be expected. Both hyperopic and myopic patients tend to be very happy with this lens. Assuming a correct explanation of the trade-off between spectacle-free vision and some contrast reduction. Moving on to the next trifocal lens, the Acrease of IQ Panoptics is a trifocal IOL implanted using the standard Ocon Monarch injector and cartridges. By turning the knob of the injector the IOL is advanced into the interior chamber. Despite having hydrophobic coating this IOL is made of hydrophilic acrylic and quickly expands in the capsular bag. Particularly in trifocal toric lenses it is important to aspirate OVD from the interior and posterior surface of the lens to ensure optimum rotational stability. This lens is based of a quadrifocal design in which one of the foci was modified and directed towards distance vision, while the intermediate focus is adjusted to about 60 cm perhaps being more suitable for intensive computer use. There is also a near focal point provided by an ad power of 3.25 diopters and corresponding to about 40 cm distance vision. This is a toric model, so when the surgery is complete we must fine-tune the final position of the lens, to ensure the toric markers are aligned in the intended axis. There it is, looking really nice and stable. Moving on to the next lens, the Rayner Ray 1 Trifocal, is one of the most recent multifocal IOLs, claiming to allow about 89% of light transmission to the retina, which theoretically would diminish the occurrence of dysphotopsia. Faco proceeds using chopping maneuvers and then cortical aspiration. A strong point of the Ray 1 family of lenses, is that they come preloaded in a very simple and elegant injector suitable for implant through 2.2 mm or even smaller corneal incisions. The lens is made of hydrophilic acrylic material, and as the plunger is depressed the lens quickly unfolds in the capsular bag. The lens design is somewhat similar to the panoptics in that the diffractive area is only on the central 4.5 mm of the optic, while the remain area is monofocal in order to minimize dysphotopsia. Thorough aspiration of OVD continues, and one thing that is apparent in this lens is the stability afforded by the closed loop haptics. In fact, the optic remains very well centered despite the aspiration maneuvers. This is important in trifocal lenses in which obtaining an optimum centration of the inner diffractive ring with the visual axis is fundamental. This lens is also available for toric corrections, and we find it to be very stable and precise.
Moving on to extended depth of focus lenses, this type of lenses employ various optical properties to extend the field of vision. One of the most recent is the Alcon Vividi. This lens is similar to the Akrisov family of lenses, being implanted through the Alcon Monarch 3 injector. The Vividi lens does not use diffractive rings, but instead has a central convex area which acts as a refractive wave front shaping element. This results in an extended focus corresponding to about 1.53 diopters, while minimizing loss of contrast and photic phenomena. Despite not using diffractive rings, in order to achieve the best vision results, the surgeon should observe and aim for optimum centration of the inner convex element which provides the proprietary X-wave effect. The Vividi is also available for toric corrections as shown in this video. We find it easier to rotate in clockwise orientation, so one useful tip is to leave it near the intended axis and then fine-tune the final position after hydrating the corneal incisions using the BSS cannula. The results have been very good with most patients obtaining comfortable spectacle-free vision, aiming for minimum myopia in the non-dominant eye.